Servus. Today we are going to be playing... Why am I doing this? The last time I was here. We are going to be picking everyone's favorite war crime denier. Turkey. For as much as I would like to be playing Turkey. No. Never again. I've played enough Turkey in my life. We're not just going to be playing turkey, we are not going to be going for the strongest turkey, which I hope I never have to do, because this focus tree is just a mess. It just takes too long to come online. The Germans are already doing Barbarossa and then you finally have your nation and you can start on focusing on reforming your army and industry and it's just... You have to do so much to have a worse nation than Estonia if they just take the Baltics. Today, we are playing a nation, a focus tree. We are, I, I will show you a focus tree that you've never seen before. Because as I said, anybody who plays Turkey is just going to pivot to the past. Let's just get this over with, man. Okay, uh, factories. Oh God, for once I am not building mill factories. As for the Navy. I'm gonna keep the heavy ship here, but I don't plan on going for a navy. We do have a small problem here. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Altai is my man. He has brilliant strategist. He has five attack. And we're gonna go for the Montreux Convention. And usually you would go for the East Bank. But since we're going a path nobody has treaded before, we will also have to go for Atatism. Which is a 70 day focus. Ugh. We do have PP. We can spend this power. I wouldn't mind going for these things, but we have to use Ataturk as much as we can. He is such a busted leader, which is fair. Silent workers. And I guess I'm also gonna go for an agency. We don't really have a lot of factories, which sucks. We have to go for concentrated today. There will be no expanding whatsoever. <laughs> Oh man. I'm not even doing a special thing where I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm playing Hoi 4 A to C. No, I'm, I'm just playing a focus tree that nobody should ever go for. For once, I'm gonna go for the captain of industry. Because we're not fascists and communists, we gotta increase our conscription laws. A fork in our road. <laughs> 25 PP gain and 10% less consumer goods. But you lose stab and war support weekly. For as much as I would like to go communist or fascist to actually be able to change my conscription law to make this more in spirit, we're gonna go for peace at home, free trade. We don't have any useful resources. We do have a lot of chromosomes, which we are not gonna need where we're going. Well, at least for a while. But we can get one steel from France. Nationalism is nice to get here. We do get a lot of war support which we can use for partial mob. We have assessed our future. We are also going to do a very important thing, which is we will expand. Even though we already have, pro we have 100% stability. Come on, we don't have any issues at home. Oh! Conscription exemptions granted, minus 85% recruitable pop factor. Oh, look at the industry, it's booming. As for the rest of the world. Oh, look, the Spanish Civil War is happening. What a surprise. We can abuse the office of soil products, which is an insane focus. We get building slots. Just as a reminder, we do have more building slots than we have factories. But I guess it's cool. I get that you can't just give everyone Hermann Göringwerke where you get six factories for 70 days. It's just... <laughs> some of these focuses, why are they in the game? It's just so sad. If you think about it, there's so much content in this game and then nobody will ever experience it. Like, you, you could play as Guatemala or Costa Rica or Honduras or you could play as New Zealand and um, arrest pacifist leaders. We're gonna make a save point. Since neither of these trees have ever been done before, I think I'm the first person ever, even before playtesters, to click either of these two buttons, the game might just crash. I'm not gonna rant again. I've done that already in the Wiki2 video with Germany. I will not do the same thing here. But this is a paradox game. Puppets are not even allowed to make factions. Why would you bother with this? Here you get land, but it's like... 
Okay, land doctrine cost for 70 days. I guess the idea here is cool. You can go for foreign policy and then mix and match if you go to the allies, the common turn or the axis. Enough about this. We are going to continue to prioritize Balkan integrity, which I think, yeah, honestly, not a single person has ever done before. Whee, we have Camelus loyalties now. I guess that's pretty cool that you can use your PP here to buff your states. Resistance targets would target be 4%. Okay, we can go even higher. Year. Civilian oversights. <laughs> yes, I will get docking rights from you, Hungary. Thank you. 10% division defense on core territory for 70 days. A cool part about this tree is that you form a faction with the Balkan powers, and most of the buffs you get will also apply to your faction members. Especially for multiplayer, this could be kind of fun, where you just form your weird little anti axis block. And I still need to reform my army. I really don't like the Turkish focus tree. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. I also don't like the Greek focus tree. I also don't like the Bulgarian focus tree. I also don't like the Swiss focus tree, the Italian focus tree or the Ethiopian focus tree. I don't want to complain all day, but these focus trees are just so convoluted and you're so railroaded to certain paths and then they are so long and... <laughs> It's 1939. World War II has started and I am not even close to having a country. The path that would be here is absolutely shite and useless. I don't know why you would ever go for it except for the memes. It's just not worth it, which is so sad. It could have been so fun to have this weird Germany and Soviet Union, you know, just this powerhouse with insane factory stats and industry and manpower against the entire world, which you can go with the Berlin Moscow axis. Berlin Moscow faction. It's just, it could be so cool. What the fuck is this? That's a Metal Gear, man. Okay, this is not. But this 2D picture, that's a Metal Gear. That's a Peace Walker Metal Gear. Or a Shago Horde. Bulgaria just joined the Axis. That is bad. I shouldn't have gone for the research focus because now they will be at war with the Allies. Maybe we can be quick enough. If they don't join against the Allies, we might be able to invite them to our faction. We need to do something important. Start building this puppy. <clears throat> I guess this is it. I'm gonna see how this does. I don't have high hopes. And then we also need our support tanks, obviously. I guess they are all right. They do have a nice bit of hard soft attack. Not expensive at all. Yeah, build heavy tanks as a minor nation. It's gonna be great. For reference, the IC cost of my standard 8-1 infantry divisions with full support companies is one seventh of this. I'd be surprised if I can field 10 of these. Oh, they added new things. Yes, production is power. Woohoo. Another one and a half hours and I can have my army. One fraction of my army. 10 heavy tank brigades. Yes, they are idiots. They joined my faction. Wait a minute. Ah, they fucked me. They already did. No. <laughs> My faction is gonna be at war with the allies now. <laughs> oh shit. No, Romania already joined. Greece joined. Everyone joined. So There's no way I can use this army. I'm gonna start using my tanks and within two days I won't have any fuel anymore. Okay, the Germans declared war on the Soviets. Which actually, I think we are going to attack the Soviets first. This will make the Axis extremely strong, but we can get the oil from the Soviets in the Caucasus. Just look, I'm, I'm not even at war. Just from exercising and sending my tanks around, I'm already out of fuel. How long would it take to justify the Soviets? 30 days, okay. That's cool to hear. I just need my army and then I can declare war on the Soviets and use my heavy tanks to push into mountains. I really didn't think this through, did I? No, we are getting invaded. Bulgaria, <laughs> why? And we've reached a point where I'm actually running out of building slots. Only 800 more trucks and then we can start. We can finally play the game. You know this is my stool every single time. Get so pissy. No time like the present. Okay, let's see. Can you do something? Wow! 
Look, look at this. No, they've lost Syria. I guess I'm going to build roads now. I could build in my allies or I could build anti-air. Doesn't matter that much. And Greece has fallen, it looks like. You can thank Bulgaria for that. And I guess me for inviting Bulgaria. I'm moving three tanks and I need a thousand oil for them. Every single day. Oh, but look at them. They can push. They can push. Meow. And now look at the speed of them. Okay, we already lost that one. Ah, oh, Greece is gone. Everyone else in my allies is gonna drop dead. But I guess I can join the allies then. Soviet Union declared war on Iran. Would rather be part of the Axis. <sighs> it's middle school all over again. I do have air superiority, which... Fail. The Soviets have something else to do right now, but it's hilarious. With my 16 cas, it would be so much better if I had more divisions. I guess we can build a few more overlords. Oh, I don't have any oil anymore. Ugh. That's the cool thing about heavy tanks. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they don't have any oil. They are as slow with fuel as they are without. Which is not true, but it might as well be true. No, that's cheating. Why did you put up your four submarines? I'm just gonna bank on the Bulgarians and everyone else saving me. They are gonna hold and they are gonna inflict a ton of damage. The problem is just they can just be encircled. I guess this is still mountain terrain, huh? Thought this was hills, but it was I, Dio. Oh my god. Please, just push out this one inf- Yes, I pushed an infantry division with my heavy tanks. Ugh. Can you tell I'm losing my mind? Nothing can stop me now. And of course, Iraq would join Japan instead of Iran. Which I suppose actually is smarter. Looking at the state of Iran. We don't have civilian factories anymore. This should start hurting the Soviets quite a bit in a minute. Since we're taking all of their oil. Yeah, the heavy tanks are working out. They are dealing considerable damage when defending. Just look at this, 1000 defense. Wait a minute, can I get women in the workforce as non-aligned? Yes. Hey, gotta make sure, this is hearts of iron. Let's push with the super heavies. I keep on calling them super heavies. I, I think I just want them to be super. I, I mean, I know I, they are super, which is why I'm building them. Not out of any other reason, except for the fact that they are incredibly strong and you should definitely do this in your own games. I mean, just look at them push here. Ooh, wait a minute, can I make an encirclement with my tanks? Yes, I did make an encirclement with my tanks. With my own tank, to be more precise. Oh, my allies encircled. Okay, uh, let's capitalize on this. Actually, I can deploy some more heavy tanks. Yes, more heavy tanks. I love heavy tanks. They are the best thing they have added in Hearts of Iron. The best thing that has ever been invented. Even though I can't build a pop sample myself. I just want to push over this tile, man. Preferably without getting pushed back. Actually, we can probably take both of them. Yes. Yes. No. Okay, maybe we can take this tile then. Oh, nice. I'm actually occupying Iranian land. Wait, what? Why are you allowed here? Hold. Hold the phone. Why are you in... The AI is, just keeps on cheating, man. They are not allowed to be in my land. I have not given you mill access and yet you're still attacking. Technically, it's their country that I'm walking through right now, but it's my occupation. Come on, get a bit more stability than I can put the women in the factories. For some more capitalism. I mean, for the glory of the Turkish nation. For the survival of the Turkish nation. Yes, the US would like to support me. We could be at war, but the US would still support me. Even though I'm at war with the Soviets and my allies are at war with the allies. But hey, if Uncle Sam wants me to bend over, you know I will. Then again, it doesn't really matter if it's Uncle Sam that wants me to bend over. The best part about this is now I will get all of my factories, all of my resources back that they've stolen from me after I declared war on them. Oh no, you're not allowed to lose a single one of these divisions because they are expensive. Right, let's get the rest of the oil. French scuttle fleet. That took you quite some time. And I will race America for the bomb. Okay, nobody is on this. They just pulled all of the divisions away from this front line. That's nice of you. Just means I can start pushing here. 300k lost. It's it's an okay casualty rate. Je what the f What? 
China got kicked out of the Chinese United Front? I guess they went one China policy. And if the AI does it, they immediately... I don't think you get knocked out of your faction if you do that though. Yeah, I just looked at it in the wiki and China will leave the faction if they are in a faction with a Chinese nation. I don't think I've ever seen the AI do it before defeating Japan though. Then again, I've never played non-aligned Turkey. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe that's on me. Maybe that's common knowledge in the world of Hearts of Iron. Okay, let's take Izmir, the only port that they have left. And then I can use all of these tanks to fuel my own tanks to make them stronger. Oh my god, the Azerbaijan oil is just doing wonders for me. And I think the only one in my, yep, faction is Romania. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be an asshole and kick them. I'm just gonna wait until they capitulate and then join the allies. <laughs> I appreciate it, Franco. I don't think you know what I have in what plans I have, huh? I'm gonna use some ghost divisions now. They need to rush down into the Urals, because that's where heavy tanks excel. Nuclear-powered heavy tanks. It almost sounds like a JoJo stand. And I'm having second thoughts about my heavy tanks pushing into the Urals. I want to help against the Germans, but I first want to capitulate the Soviets. No, they liberated Paris. Come on. Oh my god. You've lost 11 million to the Soviets. How? Okay, you know what? Romania, you're being a bitch. I can't join the Allies. I need them more. Okay, so this whole plan is a fluke. You capitulated Ireland. Would have been more useful if you were to defend France instead of taking out Ireland. In my opinion. The US is still supporting me even though I'm part of the Axis. Kinda based, not gonna lie. They don't even like me. <gasps> we did encircle something. Bulgaria has gone through so much the past six years. They joined the Axis, then they joined the Balkan Confederation, then they got through the whole abdication crisis, and now they are democratic and proclaimed the third Bulgarian Empire. There we go, <sighs> we have developed nuclear bombs. Look at the speed without any supplies. Meow. We made it and we are getting pushed out. No, they took the province I was building the supply hub in and now everything is lost. All of the progress. If I had proper divisions, man, I could just push into Kazan. Oh, we can almost, I can almost taste the supplies. Nothing has changed. <laughs> now they are pushing us out of Kazan. We got all those two divisions have supply again, yes. And they're gonna walk one tile forward and they won't have any supply anymore. Just the way Paradox intended it. And so killed them. I know I can pin with my other divisions, but I don't have org in them. No. Well, the game is over. The game is over. If you plan on playing this beautiful focus tree, or in general Turkey, then I do recommend you play with proper divisions and not heavy tanks. Because in this experiment, although if it was a scientific experiment, I would have to write down my findings and also do it a few times to actually validate that it all does not work. Regardless, if you do plan on playing Balkan Turkey in single player, for whatever reason, there's not even an achievement related to this, then please don't build this. Please don't build the Overlord. That's 7,000 IC for a tank that I cannot push into mountains and there are mountains everywhere here. Germans really are defending me, huh? I wanted to wait until I capitulated, but that wouldn't even matter. The Germans have to capitulate. Wait a minute. I just got a... What? Oh, yes. Democratic Germany. Oh, okay, never mind. You don't want my help after all. Oh, uh, whoops. I just accidentally shot the entire Iranian army. Yep, Spain did indeed join the Allies, but um, yeah. And of course, France's empire was dismantled. What else would happen in a Hoi 4 peace deal? Yeah, that, that's surely not gonna cause any problems whatsoever down the line. Jesus. Okay. Uh, I guess you heard it here, folks. I have to stop playing the video game because 
he wants attention. Don't play this Focus 3 in single player with heavy tanks, please. 